Good morning, Crystal Lake Crocs, where we are considerate, responsible, organized, cooperative, and safe. I'm your special guest host on this beautiful Tuesday morning, Mrs. Hudson. Today is March 31st, 2020, and our second day of digital distance learning. Today is National Crayon Day. Today, opening up a box of crayons opens up a world of imagination and fun, so pick your favorite waxy color and get out there and use it all day. Please stand as we prepare for today's pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Day two of virtual learning. What stellar learners we have out there. You guys have been amazing. Even with some of the technical glitches we have experienced um, yesterday, you guys powered through, rocked those lessons, worked hard, and still managed to get all your work done. Shout out to our moms and dads for all their help troubleshooting some of those technical difficulties. To our teachers who were help support yesterday with technical difficulties. You guys were stellar. So keep up that great work. It will only get easier as we progress and um, learn more about how to navigate this special world we're in right now. I ready knew second grade you had the most I ready minutes in not only math but in reading too. Guys, take a second, give yourselves a big round of applause. Now, all you other grade levels out there, please make sure that you are working just as hard as second grade to get those minutes in for reading and for math, but most importantly, make sure you're getting those pass rates. So that means take your time, focus, look at those questions, make sure you're answering them. If you're in math, you're showing your work so that way you don't make any of those silly little errors. Our spotlight student is from Miss Ashford's class. Look at our buddy over there working hard, showing his um, work with his manipulatives on a large piece of paper. Make sure he's not making any errors. Way to go. Please go ahead and submit those photos to us on Facebook or via your teacher and email, and you could be our next spotlight student. Our virtual field trip of the day is the Georgia Aquarium. So when you are taking a break from some of those digital lessons with your teachers or um, you have some downtime, take some time to learn a little bit more, but in a different way from the Georgia Aquarium. They've got some amazing animals at the Georgia Aquarium. Um, we'll be checking that out later today in our home too. Today's weather forecast, Whew, it's going to be a hot one. Only two degrees shy of yesterday's high at 89 degrees with a low of 64 degrees. So get out early and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. Maybe pack a picnic lunch, but please do make sure you take a break and get outside and get some fresh air, some vitamin D, and enjoy the great outdoors. Right, tech support. Can you guys believe it? Miss Hudson is so excited to announce that reading counts test can be taken now from home. Woohoo! So get those books, get reading, get those tests passed, and show us what you know. Um, just a reminder, we have a um, application on the portal called Overdrive or the Sora app where you can read books digitally if you may have already finished the books that you checked out before break from school. And another tech support tip is um, in order to open those Google files, we've gotten a lot of emails um, that we cannot get into. Our students are struggling to get into those Google files. Please make sure when you check that icon in the top right corner that it is you and that you are signed into your at student.myscps.us, um, not maybe a siblings or not maybe moms and dads. That's a very common thing that keeps happening. Um, a good tip is if multiple students are using the same home computer uh, to use a separate web browser, so maybe one student would be in Chrome while another one is in Edge or Firefox. If you're using your school supported device, when you log into the computer, the profile automatically wipes that. But on our home computers, um, they're just, you know, they get so smart and they like to store our login information. So you either have to clear those caches or use different web browsers so that it doesn't get confused as to who's logging in um, to the portal and then into our uh, Google Classrooms. But please do reach out if um, you need some um, more technical assistance with this. 
please check out our Facebook page for a special read aloud and a contest from Mr. Carver. He's reading a um, stellar uh, book and he's got some special things to share with you. So please do check out our CLS Facebook page or our PTA Facebook page to hear the story read aloud by Mr. Carver. Thank you so much for tuning in to the WCLE News. I'm Mrs. Hudson. It's been wonderful to be your host. Always remember to be considerate, responsible, organized, cooperative, and safe, and to show your true colors.